Happy Homebrew Wednesday, guys. Uh, this week, I'm going to try and be very short. Um, it's a homebrew Wednesday, so I have a homebrew. This is not my homebrew. It's uh, the last of the three homebrews that was given to me by Tony Yates. And this, if, I'm, if I uh, remember correctly, is his brown ale. So, let's pop this open. A little bit of a hiss there. So yeah, that's nice. About so almost a finger head there. Uh, there's uh, some carbonation going up the side here, which is uh, real nice. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a a whiff. Very. Uh, very uh, nice malt character, some not malt sweetness on the nose at first. Very little, very, very faint hops. Um, Just a little bit fruity. Very little though. And just a tad bit yeasty. But that's quite alright. Let's dive in. Cheers, Tony. Oh, there's a lot more going on uh, on the palate compared to the nose. Definitely. Um, in my mouth, it is medium light body. And the mold character is much more uh, present on the palate. Uh, I think it tastes like uh, some roasted grains has been used, maybe even some chocolate malt. Very nice, very very nice. I need to uh, let Mrs. BB have a taste of this. Um, she's gonna love this one. It's very very dark. Uh, let's see if I'm able to produce some light here. Uh, oh yeah, it's very clear. I don't know how that comes across for you guys, but it's very clear. It is. So, very, very nice brew once again, Tony. Uh, I'm very, uh, <laughs> very happy about the exchange. Um, so, thank you very much again for these. Uh, they were all very, very good. I think probably this one is my favorite just because of the style um, I think also if I were to to judge uh, the beers by style I think this one would score uh, the most points for being on par with the style it's a very nice brown ale and uh, I would I would also pay money for this, of course. It's it's my favorite of the three, so excellent stuff. Now I need to save some for the missus. So that was the brew showcase for uh this week's Homebrew Wednesday. Um I might um I might do a taste test soon of the double fisted ale project, the yeast difference project um, the bottles have been carbon up for two weeks and of course so has the kegs so I'm, prob I'm probably gonna do the test from the, the kegs 
they have been sitting uh, with the same PSI, about 12, 11 or 12 PSI, um, in the same fridge, same temp. So I'm probably going to do that because the swing top bottles that I used to to bottle uh, the beer that didn't fit into the kegs uh, is going to be used for gifts and so on. So uh, I'm only going to take one sample uh, from the bottles just to check on the carbonation, uh, the level of carbonation after two weeks. So if it's good now, I'm going to move the whole case of excuse me, uh, the whole case of bottles to the cellar so it'll be aged at a cooler place until Christmas time or thereabout. So cheers 17 and happy homework Wednesday. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting and liking. Um, catch you again next time.